Hi, I'm Cora, and I want to show you a sequence today that's called Supporting Heaven and Earth. It's a great sequence for the spine. It's doable by just about everybody. And you'll feel like you're being supported by heaven and earth. Perhaps relax a little, find some ease in your spine, and perhaps smile just a bit more. So let's get started. We're going to come from an easy, supported seated pose, Sukhasana. You can start at the edge of your mat, placing your hands behind you. As you lean back, begin to take your knees together, placing your feet flat on the floor, and begin to roll down. You may need to scooch just a bit back, and then just begin to roll down toward the floor, just keeping the knees bent, keeping the spine as soft as possible. And just take some breaths here. Just inhale, and as you exhale, descend the navel down toward the spine. Just inhale again, exhale, releasing down. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Now, we'll just take an egg. This is for your head. Releases the neck. It's great to release the neck. You'll take an egg. You'll place it behind your head. And you'll place it right at the base of the occiput, where the skull meets the neck. You'll see right here, she's placing it to support the head. Ah, uh, she already wants to close her eyes. It's so nice to release the body down. You can give a little stretch in the back of the neck. We're often very tight there. So you can take a few breaths here. It's really nice. Just relaxing, supporting, easing down toward the earth. Now, for some people, you may have a longer neck. It may be too much flexion, meaning that the head is bent too far forward. That could create some compression. It won't feel good. So, for some of you, you may need to take a blanket, and Megan here will just roll on over. Get some support. So you're laying it just underneath the back. So your bum is still on the ground, and as you lay, you'll be able to still see the support, but there's less of an angle. You'll know pretty quickly. It just doesn't feel good. So in Megan's case, she doesn't really need the support. So I think she might be more comfortable by just rolling away, and I'll just help her take it away. Thank you, Megan. Mm -hmm. How are you doing there? Mm -hmm. See, we're moving down toward the earth. So depending on what you're comfortable with, you can have just your hands softly open and just relax here for a moment. You could bend your arms slightly so they're just supported, open. You could even use another egg and just support your wrist. It's a really lovely way to just have a soft, easy opening as you're connecting upward toward the sky and descending down toward the earth. In this case, we're just going to let her enjoy. So you might want to take a few breaths here, really feeling the opening in the neck. It should feel great, especially for those of us that work, looking at a computer, kind of humped over, shoulders up. This will get really nice in the muscles of the neck, the trapezius, just really opening nicely. Now it gets better. She's just going to begin to inhale, and as she exhales, taking her face toward the right. Now, ah, look. Doesn't that look delicious? So she has this beautiful opening here in the neck. She might even want to just linger there for a few moments, just soaking it in, just kind of simmering into the ease. Then coming back to center, and now she'll just turn her head toward the left. You'll feel a very different sensation. Both sides can be different, so don't expect that one will be the same as the other. Just easing through the enjoyment of releasing inside your own body. So she can linger for a moment here. And she might want to come back to center and roll on to the first side again. 
It might even feel as though it's opening, opening more around the neck muscles, even into the jaw, the shoulders, and then coming back to center. And then again, as she comes over, it's so nice to release our neck. So you're already sinking down toward the earth, feeling that heavenly being that we are inside. And then she'll just roll back and forth. And if you're watching this at home, just take your time. Just enjoy. As so though you're just simmering here on the eggs until they're just right for you. Now, there's one more thing we can do here that feels even more yummy. So as she comes back to center, she'll turn her head again toward the right. But this time, she's turning her chin down toward the armpit. And as you see, there's so much that you can get into here in the neck, especially into the scalenes and the upper traps. If you don't know what those are, it's just the neck. The neck gets tight right in here. So we know that, that sensation. And then as she comes back to center, she'll take her chin toward the left, bringing it down again toward the armpit. Don't overdo. If you feel any strain, don't go there. Just open slowly, just rocking back and forth with the eggs. The greatest thing about this egg is that the rocking really affects our nervous system particularly the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest. So as she's doing this, she's actually sending messages down from the brain into the body to relax. So when you're relaxed, usually more at ease. Now, I'm sure she'd like to spend more time here, <laughs> but I want to show you one more thing about the sequence. We're supporting heaven and earth. Here's our heaven the head, that which reaches toward the sky, and then now we'll help you open the earth, the pelvis, where we hold a lot of tension for our backs. So she'll take the egg out from underneath, and please watch how she does this. She supports the head as she removes the egg. It's a smooth action. It doesn't have any jerkiness to it and then she can just lay down. And again, before moving, just taking a few breaths, just in, out, just feeling the spine, feeling how it feels as we open. Now, she'll begin to curl her bum up and lift her bum as she takes the egg underneath and she's going to place it right at her sacral area, right at the top of the pelvis. So you're supporting the pelvis and you're supporting the spine. So do you see how here she has a nice action of release in the spine? But if she were to come into too much of a back arch and she tipped all the way off, she would actually tip off the egg. Do you see that? It doesn't even look comfortable. The ribs splay, she can't breathe. So it's a bit of a tuck of the pelvis so that this belly opens, opens, as though we're just receiving all the rain from the heavens. So the belly's open, the chest is open, the neck is relaxed. This should feel wonderful already. Just releasing that low back area, that, that part that gets a bit tight when we sit too much. Now, it gets better. You're gonna use the rocking shape of the egg and we're gonna rock and roll ourselves to ease. So she's just going to take her knees and just kind of slightly moving them toward one side to the other, just moving slightly one way and then the other, using this unique shape. The rounded edge allows her to rock back and forth, back and forth. It feels like you're giving a little massage to the sacrum. And when you massage the sacrum, it releases all the hip flexors around the hip extensors, all around the glutes, the bum, Basically, the whole leg, how the leg inserts into your hip bone. So it really relaxes. When it does that, it releases all this area underneath the spine. She'll feel an opening in the belly, perhaps even an opening in the groin. But this really eases the back. Now, 
this might be enough for you. But if you want more, you'll just take your knees just even more over. So they're just really feeling. And you see she has nice, beautiful opening here. She gets a nice twist and then coming back. And she gets again this line, this beautiful line across here, opening the erectors of the spine. So she just goes rocking back and forth. It might not be for you. It might be. You can try it. You'll know pretty quickly. So please listen to your body. That's the only body we have. And if we're going to find that support between heaven and earth, we have to take care of that body. Now, she can stay here as long as she wants. But for right now, we'll have to take her off. So to come out, you will come back to center, use your feet, lift the bum, and use your hand to take the egg out. And now don't just come down quickly. Roll your spine down in sequential order, upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum. So you're just rolling and unfurling the spine down. And then just take a few breaths. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just releasing, relaxing, restoring. And as she feels comfortable, she may just want to straighten her legs. And what's really nice, she'll straighten her legs. I'm just going to give her a nice little shavasana help. With this egg, I'll just support her knee slightly, giving it a little bend. And we'll support this leg as well, giving it a soft bend, just supporting the knee so that she forms a river. And she can continue to enjoy her Shavasana. As we lay here in Shavasana, finding the stillness, just take a long, slow, soft, deep inhalation. Long, slow, soft, deep exhalation. Releasing, relaxing, restoring. Moving down, 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 down toward the earth. Supported, nurtured, spacious, held by Mother Earth, opening ourselves, our minds, bodies, and souls toward the heavens. <laughs>